Okay, my name is Adam Cox. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and also host of a podcast called The Hypnotist, uh, regularly ranked in the iTunes charts around the world in the mental health category. Now, the hypnosis session that you are about to hear, and I'm doing it live, this is uh, recorded for my podcast, but it's live on YouTube, and it's about building muscle. I have a weight loss hypnosis brand called Hypnoslimming. I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people to lose weight with hypnosis. And when my clients want to lose weight, what they really are saying is that they want to lose body fat. They certainly don't want to lose muscle. Um, and that's why I encourage all my clients to use body fat monitors rather than scales to see if they are making progress in the right kind of direction. I have myself got about 30 different hypnosis downloads all based around weight loss. So things like virtual gastric bands, increasing metabolic rate, uh, increasing discipline, self-control, all these kind of things that can help people make the kind of choices that enable them to lose body fat percentage, become leaner, healthier, more confident. However, I've done very few, in fact, I've not done any sessions based on increasing muscle mass. So the session that I'm about to do, literally in about two or three minutes time, is gonna be a hypnosis session designed to have you feeling very, very resourceful about the idea of increasing muscle mass and there are three key things that are essential when it comes to building muscle now I'm not a bodybuilder um, but I have a a fairly lean physique for someone my age you know approaching 43 Um, and recently I got my body fat down um, to about 14% body fat which again for a 43 year old uh, certainly not bad Um, I'm not claiming to be a bodybuilder, but I am claiming to be a hypnotist and I have spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sessions helping people to make changes at the subconscious level. This session is designed to have you feeling really, really resourceful and focused and determined. So the resources required to build muscle, that's step one. The second is about increasing protein. If you don't increase protein, doesn't matter how much exercise you do, protein uh, and the amino acids are the building blocks to actually increase muscle mass. Third is that you have to um, put pressure on key muscle groups, normally by lifting weights, so that the body has to adapt and become stronger and bigger to compensate for going out of its comfort zone. So in this hypnosis session, it's gonna be based on all of those three things. You have to have the resources to want to go to the gym or want to lift the weights. You have to have the right diet that supports that behavior, and then you have to actually lift the weights. And generally speaking, if it's about building muscle, sometimes people focus too much on the specific area that they want muscles. So if they want six pack abs, they're gonna focus on just doing hundreds and hundreds of crunches and abdominal exercises. And if they want biceps, then they're gonna be doing lots of curls and things like that. And that isn't the best way to increase on a hormonal level what your body needs to increase muscle. So generally speaking, and again, I'm not a personal trainer, but generally speaking, to increase strength throughout your whole body, which then builds the frame that can enable increased muscle mass in all the body parts really is about those compound exercises, things like deadlifts, squats, bench press, um, those kind of things. Um, I'm gonna make a recommendation of an app which I use, um, which is the five times five strong lifts, uh, strong lift system. Uh, it's a very good app. Um, and effectively it gets you focused on those core exercises and the interesting thing is when you do those core exercises like deadlifts and squats and bench press and uh, shoulder press you know kind of going up like that that also means that when you start doing curls or if you start doing tricep dips or any of those kind of things you get stronger in those areas as well but this hypnosis session 
designed to get you wanting and actually doing the right kind of things that will increase muscle mass. Ideally, to listen to this, you want to make yourself comfortable. Certainly don't listen to this if you're driving or doing something that requires your attention, like working with machinery, uh, and it's not really ideal if you're epileptic or have serious mental health issues. But assuming that isn't the case, make yourself comfortable because very soon we're going to actually start the hypnosis session. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any tension, any stress to exhale with you. Breathing in that relaxing feeling of resourcefulness and allowing that tension to leave your body. That's right. And I want you to use, use the power of your conscious mind while it's still active to decide right now that with each and every breath, you will increase the amount of oxygen that you take in on that inward breath by a tiny amount. So breathe slightly deeper in. And as you exhale, allow any tension particularly around the neck and the shoulders to feel like you're letting go. And because you're breathing in slightly more in each and every breath, you are energizing, oxygenating those cells, meaning they can let go of that tension, that stress, those things that you don't have a need for right now, taking you deeper, deeper, relaxed, that's right, and I want you to use the power of your imagination, use the power of your imagination to imagine that you're somewhere else, and if your eyes aren't already closed, now is the time to close them, because you'll still be able to listen to my voice, even with your eyes closed, only, only that your imagination becomes so much more vivid and active when you don't have the distractions of the outside world. Relax those eyelids, close them now, and use the power of your imagination to imagine that you are in a grand mansion, a huge house, and imagine that you are on one of the top floors, the top floors of this grand mansion, and I want you to make your way to one of the many luxury bedrooms. Find one that just catches your eye and notice the softest, most impressive bed that you've ever seen and make yourself comfortable on that bed, feeling the head on the pillow. Imagine your arms and legs just resting there, perhaps on top of a duvet allowing your body to just sink in and continue to breathe in that resourceful feeling of relaxation and as you exhale just allow allow that tension to continue to just let go melt away leaving your body now that's it deeper and deeper relaxed that's right and as you breathe in and breathe out, notice, notice that your arms and legs are getting looser and limber, more and more relaxed. Any tension around the neck and the shoulders just melting away. Imagine that your whole body is going deeper and deeper relaxed. And very shortly, I'm going to count downwards from five to one, and you will imagine what it could be like or would be like to fall asleep in that comfortable bed in that mansion, just in your imagination. Let's try that now. Five, feeling sleepy. Four, enabling, enabling that part that normally kicks in just before you go to sleep. That's it. Three, feeling a desire to yawn. Two, going deeper and deeper, relaxed. And one, just imagine falling asleep there in that bed, in that mansion. That's right. 
And perhaps you are now dreaming a dream where you're in the same house. And I want you to check that bedroom just to make sure that your physical body is asleep there on that bed. You can even imagine lifting up your own wrist, feeling how loose and limp it is, and then letting go and feeling, feeling the sensation of it just flopping there, almost like the limbs of a puppet with no strings. That's right. See that that body, that physical body, is so deeply relaxed as the version of you in your own imagination is about to wander. Wander and wander somewhere in this mansion. And I want you to go, go to a place before we go to the gym. I want you to go to the private cinema. I want you to make your way to a room where you can find a private cinema. And this is a mansion. This is a huge house. And I want you to make your way there to the private cinema. Have a comfortable seat, perhaps on that very soft sofa, looking up at the screen. And I want you, I want you to see, see someone that represents strength and muscle. Someone that has built their body through discipline, hard work, effort, and the right choices and the right decisions. Now, depending on your age and who you admire in this area, perhaps you can imagine. Imagine someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger, or perhaps The Rock, or perhaps many of those other impressive, strong people, bodybuilders, perhaps powerlifters. See whoever it is on that screen of the person that you admire most when it comes to strength and building muscle. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the gender. It just has to be someone that has those resources and those qualities that you admire most. And it doesn't even mean that you aspire to look or be like them in terms of what you physically look like only that if you had their strategies, beliefs, resources, when it came to building muscle, even if you didn't share their genetics, it would dramatically increase your ability to gain muscle. See them on that screen. See how they look, and I want you to see them working out. I don't want you to see them at home or in a movie. See them working out lifting perhaps heavy weights and not heavy weights that they do once or twice see them doing the very exercises that if you did similar exercises you would become stronger and more muscular perhaps you can see them doing deadlifts see them squatting heavy weights going down all the way down that's right perhaps you can see them curling very heavy weights or doing big bench pressing. See them doing the very exercises, perhaps with heavier weights than you're used to, but do them and see them. See them in that state. And you can tell from their facial expressions, their physiology, how they breathe and how they move, that they are not, not going to walk away unless they give that workout everything they've got. That's right. And at the point where you see this person on screen with all of the resources that you admire, respect, most just pause that screen. And imagine that your physical body is floating from the sofa into the screen. And I want you to imagine stepping into their body knowing what they know, feeling what they feel, believing what they believe, having all of those resources like determination, discipline, a desire to go beyond, to interpret certain physical signals, not as a reason to stop, but a reason to push through. And as you do so, get a sense a sense that what they have, you are now acquiring. Almost like the software in their brain is moving from them to you, 
just like transferring data in the cloud or a USB stick, imagine you downloading all of that knowledge, experience, belief, strategies. Feel it going into you and then feel, feel a positive emotional connection with the idea of working out. Because the difference between those people that love the gym and hate the gym is not based on their genetics. It's based on the associations, the connections they make. For some people going to the gym is stressful and for others it's a form of stress relief. For others it's a chore and for others it's a source of recreation. And I want you to feel as you're in the body of this person that you admire most, what associations do they have with the gym, with working out? Get a sense that it, for them, perhaps is a source of growth. They associate it with progression, feelings of accomplishment, satisfaction. Get a sense of what they feel is connected to the idea of working out, exercising, lifting weights, do they see it as a form of stress release? Do they feel that when they achieve those personal bests, they're flooded with a sense of endorphins, giving them that feel good emotion connected every time. And maybe after a workout and they see a reflection of themselves in the mirror, it isn't about vanity. It is about seeing an accomplishment, seeing the body adapt to the pressures, the forces put onto it. And as you see the body changing, get a sense, get a sense this is also possible for you. I want you to imagine now going back into that cinema room and now, instead of seeing that person that you admire most, now see yourself on screen, but see yourself on screen in the present, but with all of those qualities, strategies, ideas and resources that have downloaded into the mind of that version of you on that screen. And imagine that just as you can see in movies where there is a montage sequence, like Rocky, for example, see yourself where you can collapse time. What may take place over six months, a year, or even two years, condense that down to just a few minutes. See yourself on screen and get a sense that that version of you is disciplined, determined, and has nothing but positive associations with working out, exercising, and becoming stronger and stronger. That's right. See yourself lifting heavier and heavier weights. See that you're eating the right kind of things. Perhaps you see yourself eating more of that lean protein, perhaps supplementing it with smoothies or shakes with additional protein supplements, see that you are getting sufficient protein so that as your body adapts from lifting those heavy weights, notice that your body can only do one thing, and that is get stronger. And you see yourself, see yourself on screen making notes of progress, because all those focused on becoming stronger and more muscular, they notice trends. What are they lifting? And what will they do to increase the weight? What level of reps do you see yourself doing there on screen? For many people, for many people they might have lower reps but heavier weights to force the body to get used to becoming stronger and stronger. See that you're eating the right amount of foods to give you the energy, the protein, to go to the gym and to exercise on a regular consistent basis. See yourself on screen 
doing all the right things collapse time. See what would happen over several weeks, months, happen in just a few seconds. See that you're getting stronger. See yourself looking in the mirror and your body is changing. See that you are becoming the version of you that you want to become. Fast forward through time, see you getting stronger, more muscular, and then see the reaction of other people looking at that future version of you on screen. Perhaps you can see that future version of you receiving compliments, getting the acknowledgement of other people lifting similar weights or less or more. See that perhaps clothes that you used to wear are no longer fitting and you have to buy new clothes. See that that version of you is moving on a trajectory that is entirely possible for you. See that version of you doing the very thing consistently that would enable them to build muscle, to get stronger, to develop a desirable physique. And notice that that version of you is not trying to lose body fat. That just happens anyway. Because as you increase muscle mass, metabolism increases. And as you exert yourself, body needs energy. And your body is adapting. Adapting to the kind of version of you that needs strength that can only come from muscle tissue. Muscle tissue is protein. That body fat offers no strategic advantage for your body to lift heavier and heavier weights. Not when it can increase the mass of the muscle. Yes, you're getting heavier, but that weight is coming from muscle mass, not fat. See you getting stronger and bigger. And when you reach the size that you want, notice that your body naturally reduces reduces the amount of carbohydrates that you eat so that you maintain the strength and get leaner and leaner. See that happening to the version of you on screen until, until you see yourself in the future looking in a mirror where you have the ideal physique based on your age, your gender, and your height. See the optimal outcome. See that version of you on the screen looking into a mirror and when you are convinced that that version of you has exactly the body shape that you want, imagine floating from the sofa into the screen into that body of you looking at yourself in the mirror where you are now seeing yourself, seeing yourself with the ideal physique for you because there is no other standard apart from your own standards. The moment that you become the body shape, the strength, the physique that you aspire to be, that will unlock incredible amounts of self-confidence because the definition of self-esteem is when you compare the ideal version of you to the current version of you. And if the ideal version of you is different to the current version of you, then self-esteem is lower than it needs to be through acceptance, but also a decision to become the ideal version of you means that not only do you become stronger and more muscular, but your confidence increases too. And feel that confidence, feel that confidence within you as, as you get a sense, and get a sense that you are becoming stronger and stronger. You're seeing yourself in that full length mirror with the exact physique that you want. And you know, you know that you didn't need to be perfect to become this shape. You could have the occasional snack and that food that wasn't great and you could miss the occasional workout 
but consistently you did what needed to be done. You put the hours in, you put the effort in and what you reap you sow and what you sow you reap. Thoughts become actions, actions become results and these results give you a compelling vision to allow you to drift that way naturally. That's right. Imagine going back now to the sofa and just imagine the curtains close on that cinema screen and you leave the cinema room and now go towards the gym. And as you go to the gym, this is your own personal private gym. And I want you to feel highly resourceful, highly motivated, highly determined to create new personal bests in all of those core exercises. And because this is in your imagination, again, you can collapse time. I want you to clone yourself. So there are now 10 versions of you in that gym at exactly the same time doing 10 different exercises and each version of you is achieving a new personal best. Perhaps one version of you is doing squats and they're doing squats with a heavier weight than you've ever done before. Another version of you is doing deadlifts and they're doing a heavier weight in better form than you've ever done before. Another version of you is doing a bench press. Again, perfect form and with heavier weights than you've ever done before. There are 10 versions of you in this gym breaking personal bests and you get to observe all of them. Almost like you're a spectator just watching all these versions of you and notice their expression after each of these personal bests have been achieved. See perhaps them clenching the fist or smiling, celebrating in some way. Know that this is a sense of accomplishment, appealing, not just intellectually and logically, but emotionally. This is a desirable outcome. See them celebrating these victories. That's right. See that they're exercising different body parts and you know that they wouldn't do all of these exercises on the same day, but in your imagination, time has no place. Just know that you will do the right exercises and work the right parts of the body to enable enough recovery time before you go for that next gym session in the same area. Although you might exercise your muscles in the gym, the muscle grows when you sleep and when you rest. And you can recall that version of you fast asleep in the bed and just know that while they're there, muscles are getting stronger. That muscle tissue that was damaged while you were exercising is now repairing only stronger than it was before. That's right. And then it's time to leave the gym. All 10 of you then collapse into one. And that single version of you now walks to this incredible kitchen. You have a huge fridge huge cupboards, a big surface area where you can prepare food. And I want you to see, again, see yourself split into five different versions of you, all preparing the perfect meals to enable your body to get stronger. Now, I don't know if you're vegetarian or vegan or not, but whatever aligns with your values See yourself preparing exactly the right food so that your body is getting everything it needs for you to become stronger and more muscular. That physique that you've already seen in the future, you're now seeing multiple versions of you preparing 
the right kind of meals at all different times of day. See what they're preparing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I don't know if you'll have three meals or four or five or six meals a day. All I know is that you will do whatever is necessary to take that future vision and convert it into a reality. See yourself not just preparing the food, but see yourself eating and enjoying the food. Because when you really eat and enjoy that nutritious food that can enable your body to get stronger, then the process can become not quite effortless, but enjoyable. Because you know how much effort you'll put in at the gym. And you'll see, as they're preparing the meals, that not every meal is perfect. Notice that every now and then there'll be a cheat meal where you can just eat whatever you want. But then you go back to those core, nutritious, healthy, protein-rich meals that enable your muscles to grow. And then you realize after this big workout, it's time to have balance in your life. See yourself doing those other important things, making time for family, for friends. See yourself doing whatever you would want to do to demonstrate that that version of you committed to becoming stronger and having that ideal physique also has balance career balance, social balance, family balance, see that balance taking place. Because by seeing that, you will now enable harmony. Harmony, balance, and alignment at all levels of your subconscious mind so that there is no unconscious resistance to you getting stronger and to you achieving that ideal future physique. That's right. And now, imagine walking back to that bedroom, seeing that version of you fast asleep in the bed. And perhaps you already know that this is your conscious analytical mind that's been fast asleep all this time. And your unconscious has been on an adventure into possible futures, tapping into the resources of those that already know how to get your result and seeing yourself do exactly the right things to create a cause and effect motion over time consistently so that you are able to know what to do. Imagine climbing into that version of you fast asleep there on the bed and get a sense of connection, that all parts are connected, feeling that they're working in harmony and partnership to turn an idea of what you could look like into a reality based on your body shape, gender and age. That's right. And then you realize that you're not really in a bed in a mansion. I want you to imagine that your back wherever you are, hearing my voice, firmly in the present, in real time, listening to my voice. Very soon I will count from one to 10 to awaken you. You will awaken, feeling highly motivated, highly determined, highly resourceful to take these ideas and theories and strategies and turn them into a well-prepared, consistent, disciplined plan. You already know what to do. This is simply unlocking your unconscious mind's ability to help you get there. We will also change. Change something deep at the unconscious level that means that whatever neurotransmitters and hormones are required to assist complement this vision of your reality will also align. Because isn't it interest, interesting that when 
a monkey in the wild becomes the alpha within the tribe, suddenly the epigenetics activate within that monkey and they become bigger, stronger, more dominant. This is simply a switch that gets switched on and suddenly the physical capacity dimensions of that monkey shift and the same thing happens in lions and bears and lots of other mammals and I want you to imagine that you are the alpha in your life and with a clear vision of the future backed up by doing whatever is necessary you will activate your body's natural unconscious ability to give you whatever biochemical resources are necessary to turn your effort and discipline into the results that you desire starting to count to awaken you one two three waking up four five six more alert seven eight open your eyes open your eyes nine ten wide awake wide awake wide awake So that was a hypnosis session built entirely on the idea of getting stronger and building more muscle. Like I say, most of the hypnosis I've done over the years has been built around things like weight loss when it comes to body shape. So hopefully if you are having that goal of increasing your muscle mass or leanness or whatever it might be, whatever your goal is, you saw it in the future, this will help you to go on that journey. If you've enjoyed this hypnosis session, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell symbol there so then you get notified if I do any other live hypnosis or upload any of my videos on there. And again, I'm just going to remind you of my podcast, which has uh, all of my audio sessions and there's much more audio than video. And just go on to Spotify or Apple Podcasts, put The Hypnotist and you'll see the stuff that I do there. Hope you've enjoyed this session and I'll see you again soon. Take care.